Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of is human potential capable of anything? Well, <laughs> I think we need to really be realistic about things. There's a potential that is very unlimited, but at the same time, it is very limited by whatever uh, physics is uh, part of the world. You know, we're not going to start flying, we're not going to start doing magic and things like that, like in the Harry Potter films. But we do have an enormous amount of potential. And we could say it's unlimited, kind of like combination of keys on a piano or a guitar or whatever it is. Music-wise, there's so many combinations that can be made, uh, billions and billions and billions. I think that the brain, if it's good, has a lot of potential and it has uh, enormous amounts of potential. Uh, unlimited? Infinite? I think that we're kind of stuck to whatever we are meant to comprehend. I feel like the fact that we already comprehend so much about the world, it's already amazing. Uh, but then you see people like savants that are able to memorize books by reading them once or they're able to calculate huge numbers uh, in, in, a, in a heartbeat, you know? Those things are very strange. Uh, it, it does prove that if wiring of the brain was slightly different, we'd be able to accomplish even more things. But uh, oftentimes when we have those savants, they're lacking other... Uh, or they think differently, basically, where they have maybe less of the um, social side of things and stuff like that. Uh, they do, of course, have all the feelings. They're human and all these things. But they do... Um, look at things in a very different way. They look at the world in a very different way, which is kind of funny because what's what's kind of interesting about that is that if you were to imagine an alien civilization, they might be wired completely different too, and just depending on what their environment is. And uh, because of that, they might actually have bigger potential than us or less. You know. But the thing is that obviously there's so many billions and billions of planets in the universe, trillions of planets, that not having other life forms that are able to think differently is kind of silly. But as a humankind, and thinking again from the things that we at least know, because we know our society, we are limitless to a certain, a certain finite amount of things. I'll say that a lot of it has to do with the young years of your life be it from when you're born to five six years old and then later on that's the continuity of it but the thing is is that kids children are like sponges and whatever we feel in those first few years of life whatever we're um, given in that time we kind of make it as part of our life for the rest of our life and especially in the early, early age range, I think that whatever we were exposed to in a positive way, also negative, unfortunately, is what kind of sticks with us for the rest of our life. So if we can get the right habits at a very, very young age, then we're able to expand our brain to the maximum. And then obviously in our child years, throughout our teenage years, up to probably even our early tw 20s will definitely define the way that we look at the world, the way that we react to things, the way that we know things. Because again, the older we get, the less of a sponge we are. But all these young years, until even 15, 16 and all that, we still have a developing brain. And that really will change us for the rest of our life. And that's why education in those years is really the most important, which is kind of sad that sometimes they have all these programs where they say no kid left behind and all that because, okay, yeah, they're passing grades, they're getting people out of classes because they have too many children in the classrooms, but then uh, by just letting anybody pass, anybody get a degree, well, first of all, the degree, it's not worthwhile anymore. And we see it already because before... Having a bachelor's would mean much easier way or much easier time at finding a job. But nowadays, everybody has bachelor's. So 
you got to get the doctorate. And if you don't have the doctorate, well, you got to get a specialization. And <laughs> it just gets to a point where, you know, even after masters and doctorates and all these things, you're like still needing to get more certificates to be even a better person. So I, I think it's, it's kind of funny because maybe we've reached a certain point in humanity where literally um, social media and all these things, now it's going into a way where we've reached a pretty high peak in our brain and in our technology that now we can actually go beyond the human potential by getting AIs involved and getting computers to work in symbiosis with our brains and actually make us much more limitless and create another barrier because once you're going to be able to integrate computers and stuff within the brain and for everyone to be able to do those savant calculations and uh, those crazy ways of thinking and just having that knowledge everywhere and anytime, anywhere then you're able to go beyond whatever we would have ever been able to know as human beings and in some way I, I don't think that we were it was a good like mistake of nature to have such a big uh, brain prefrontal cortex and all that stuff which gave us our way of thinking but sometimes knowing too much maybe is not that important maybe there doesn't need to be that much evolution and we are making life more complicated with trying to have all these fancy houses, fancy cars, fancy phones and fancy lives in themselves. And then we become slaves to work, whereas the world could actually be a beautiful playground where people could just run and enjoy food and stuff like that. We do have the comfortable life that we have and longer lives, which is great. But at the same time, I hope that we as a society are actually not missing the point of living by wanting the way that we live to be the way that it is. So that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.